At about 11 o'clock in the evening, on January 26, 1700, a mega quake estimated to be between 8.7 and 9.2 on today's Richter scale, shook the ground of the Pacific Northwest from Vancouver Island to Northern California. The mega thrust quake occurred along the 620 mile long fault zone known as the Juan de Fuca Plate, which parallels the coast of the northwest United States. Records of this historical event can be found in the Japanese communities of Tsuguruishi, Kawagasaki, and Atsuchi. These records mention a tsunami that occurred in the year 1700, that does not correlate with any other quake in the Pacific Rim. Scientists determined that the tsunami of 1700 in Japan was directly caused by the massive Cascadia earthquake that shook the Pacific Northwest. Since the Native Americans that lived in the Cascadia earthquake zone had no written language at that time, there were no records of the geological event, other than the oral traditions that were passed down from generation to generation by the elders of the groups. These stories speak of a large earthquake that happened long ago that caused a great wave to sweep in from the ocean, washing away anything and everyone in its path. Scientific studies of tree rings in Oregon, and Washington, show that several ghost forests of red cedar trees that were killed by the sinking of the coastal forests into the tidal zone by the earthquake, have an outermost growth ring that was formed in 1699 the last growth season before they died in 1700. Ocean floor core samples, and sediments in ancient landslides also support the timing of this momentous event. Traditions speak of an ocean, angered by the shaking of the earth, that washed ashore with immense destruction and devastation, and took many of their people back out to the sea never to be seen again. Geological records reveal that these great earthquakes, with a magnitude of 8 or higher on the Richter scale, occur in the Cascadia subduction zone about once in every 500 years on the average, often accompanied by a sizable tsunami. Previous earthquakes of this size are estimated to be in the years 1310 AD, 810 AD, 400 AD, 170 BC, and 600 BC. Today, another slip in the Juan de Fuca plate could happen again at any time. It is vital for all coastal communities within this zone to be educated and informed of the possible risk of such an event occurring. Everyone should be prepared for such an unfortunate situation. A well thought out plan can mean the difference between life and death. Always be sure to store plenty of food, water, and supplies. At least enough to provide yourself, and family, with seven days of security until it is safe to leave, or help arrives. Know your evacuation routes. Should you feel the ground shake, immediately relocate to higher ground as quick as safely possible. At least 100 feet high, or higher, is recommended. The time it takes for a tsunami to strike land following a sizable offshore earthquake varies, but it could be as little as 10 to 15 minutes, so be quick, and most importantly, do not panic. This will only slow you down and cost you valuable minutes. Remember, whenever you live in, or visiting a coastal earthquake and tsunami zone, read the road signs, be prepared, educate, ask questions and be ready so that you and your family can be safe, just in case the next big one hits. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching our video. Are you ready for an emergency should you need be? Are you prepared to safely and calmly deal with the situation? What would you do if you looked out into the ocean and saw a 100-foot wave blanketing the horizon? I don't know about you but it definitely sounds like a scary situation to me. Let us know by leaving a comment in the comment section below. 
We would like to invite you to subscribe to my world of videos by pushing the button below, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you can be notified whenever we upload a new video here at my world of videos.